goal today is to demonstrate that with the right amount of vacuum, no shot should actually be left behind when blasting with the line stripe reducer for the impacts blaster. In the case where there is shot left behind, it's usually because the amount of dust collection or the suction that's being provided is not adequate to allow that shot after it hits the ground to actually bounce back up under negative pressure and then be returned back to the hopper. So what happens is a lot of it gets abandoned on the ground. What we're hoping to demonstrate is that with one motor, about 100 CFM, there's gonna be an inadequate amount of suction, which will leave more shot on the ground, Two motors, which is the minimum specified, 200 CFM, we should have little to no shot being trailed behind. So that's the goal for the demonstration today. If you have any questions, any comments, please, by all means, uh, make those below. If you like what you watched, give us a like, and don't hesitate to share if you feel that it would be helpful to someone else. Thanks very much for watching. As was expected, one motor, not enough suction, so what happens is the shot actually doesn't have enough negative pressure or lift to pull it up and out of the blast path. Two motors has enough suction to keep the shot flowing as it hits the ground, bounces up, and then gets taken away back into the rebound plenum um, and doesn't disrupt the shot that comes behind it to create the profile. So it's pretty simple. Basically, if we have enough suction, a shot blaster will work correctly. Unlike a grinder, a shot blaster cannot function for very long with inadequate dust collection. A grinder can, it just leaves more dust on the floor. In the case of more shot on the floor, the machine is not running as efficiently as it should, and it's also gonna cost more labor to pick that shot up. Thanks again.